So we go back to NetBeans, and so our next requirement is to be able to update that word or to create a new word. So we're going to have another method. It's also going to return a response, a response called put. And this is also going, this is going to take, rather than taking a path parameter, we're going to take something called a JAXB element. And it's going to have a word, and then we're going to, that's going to be called the word element. And then what we want to do is we want to add that to the dictionary. So we're going to do dictionary dot put word word element dot get value and then we're going to return a response just like before dot okay so this just says the response that we're building here is simply a 200 response with no no response in the body just a status code so once again, we have to add a couple annotations. We have to add the put annotation to tell Jersey that this is a, a put we want to use. We want to forward put request to this method. Um, we're going to add the path, just like we did before. And now instead of produces here, we want to say um, what we're consuming, because we want to take in a response body, and we want to convert that into a word, and we want to use that to insert in the dictionary. So we're going to do at consumes application XML. So that tells the Jersey framework that we want to consume XML. So now we go ahead and deploy this again. All right, so let's close the old window. So let's go back down to our resource in this test framework. And we'll get uh, set like we did before. So here's our definition for set. So now let's say we want to do a put. We're going to send an XML. Um, let's create a new word. We're going to create a word for BTI. So I've already got some canned XML over here um, of a word. So we've got BTI. We've got some XML with a definition here, a company that is on the move. Sounds good. I think that identifies us pretty well. So let's go ahead and test that out. So we got a 200 status code with no response. Sounds good, that's what we expected. So now let's call it get and make sure that that's in the database. 200 response, and we've got our, here we've got our definition for BTI, excellent. So the create is working, so let's try and update that. So we're gonna do another put, still for BTI, paste in our same XML. Now we're gonna say a, a company that is really on the move. So we do that, we get a 200 status response, uh, status code, which is good, and an empty response body. And we do a get to verify that that data got in there. A company that is really on the move. Excellent, two out of our three features down. We can now get words, or three out of our four. We can get words from the database, we can create new words, and we can update words. So the last feature on our list is deleting words from the database. So what we want to do here is we want to Add one more method. Um, let's see. Call it delete. Um, it's also going to take a path param. Whoops. And we're going to call dictionary dot. All of a sudden, my typing is leaving me. Dictionary.name, or dictionary.remove word, and pass it a name. And then we're going to return a response. Build. And once again, you can probably guess what annotation we're about to put here. Delete. We're going to put the same path param. And that should be it. So let's save that, deploy again. So now we're going to go down here to our words. We're going to, uh, let's look up the set. We've got it there, status 200, okay. Let's try and delete the set. So we got a status 200, no response, which is what we'd expect. So now we try and get the set. 200 okay. That's interesting. That wouldn't have been what I expected. 
but we did get no response back. So it looks like we got, got the delete working, but now it looks like we're having a problem with the OK. When we tried to get a word that, was, that we didn't expect to be in the database, we didn't get any response, but we still got a 200 OK status. So it looks like we got a bug in our get. So let's go back and take a look at that. So I've got my word here, and I'm returning response OK. So here's the problem. Even if the word, so dictionary.getWord is going to return null if the word's not in the dictionary. That's the way that we set up our dictionary. But even if word is null, we're still returning an OK response. So what we want to do here is we want to have a condition. If word equals null, we're going to return a different response. So we're going to do response.status. And then instead of response status OK, we want to do not found. All right, so now we've got that. Um, now we're going to, we should be returning a not found status code um, when we try and get a response that's not in the dictionary. Let's deploy this guy again. So we go, we look up set. It's in the dictionary, called delete. We get a 200 status code, no response. Then let's call a get on set again. Excellent, now we're getting the 404 status code that we would have ex ex expected. Um, so now we've implemented all four of our original requirements, which is to be able to create, uh, retrieve, update, and delete words from the dictionary.